こんにちは密着記録へようこそ2023年3月27日午後6時頃オハイオ州マイアミズバーグ市警察署の駐車場で仕事から帰宅準備をしていた警察官はある男が自分に向かって歩いてくるのを見た I'm here to,、uh, turn myself in. Okay, what's going on? I had an accident last night. Okay. I was showing an old friend of mine how to use this gun that she was needing, that she asked for, and it went off and shot her in the chest. Okay. And I've been running around scared. Where is this at? 目の前の男は片手にボトルを持ち、冷静に警察官に自分が友人に銃を見せたとき、誤って銃を発射してしまい、友人を撃ってしまったと告白した。それを聞いた警察官も驚いてさらに詳しく話を聞こうとした発砲事件なので警察官はその場で男を手錠をかけてから調査することにした男も非常に落ち着いた様子で警察官の調査に協力するようと言った。Does this person need help right now, or are they deceased, or what? They're deceased. Does anybody else know about this? No. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I've been waiting. Where, where is this address actually that you, you're at? I don't know the actual number. Is this her house or your house? Or? No, it's a friend of mine's house. What, what county is it in? It's on the Miami County side, but it's on Miami Montgomery County Line Road. Mommy's for 311. I'll be in the back lot with one.、Uh, can you do a miscellaneous call? I have one detained. Can you、uh, start 310? What's your name, sir? I'm Brian. Brian? Brian I'm, I'm also a dually. I'm just going to check, check you down. Go right, go right ahead. I'm in the back lot of the PD in the parking lot. Okay, again, no weapons on you, right? Right. Not even a pocket knife? No. Okay. ブライアンによるとその拳銃はまだ自分の車の中にあるという警察官は再び男をボディチェックし他の武器を持っていないことを確認したその後上司を呼んで状況を報告しようとした All right, let's have a seat in my car for two seconds and I'll switch the cuffs on you, okay? Sure. All right, hop up there and it's a big, big step. Just give me one second. What, what's your last name again? Mason. Mason, okay. Okay. Up up、uh, all day. Yeah. Yeah, just give me one second, okay? Okay. I'm on. This guy walks up, he's like. My body came on, get out of the car, walk up. He's like, What's going on? He's like, The lobby's closed. I'm like, Okay, what's going on? He said, Hey, I'm just here to turn myself in. I said, For what? He said,、uh, Excellent shot killed someone last night. So he says that he was at a on County Line Road, doesn't know the exact address. Said he was shown to friend a gun and it went off and shot her in the chest. And she's deceased. I said, Does this person need assistance? They need help? Or are they deceased? He said, They're deceased. So I detained him. I said, hey, if you want to talk to me, I'm just detaining on, on what you're telling me, and I'll read you Miranda you know, and talk to you. But he said there's a gun in his car. I haven't confirmed that's the gun he used. He doesn't even know the address at this point. That's as far as we got. So. Okay. Yep. So, you know, 警察官は現場に来た上司に先ほどの状況を報告し。経緯を聞いた上司も驚いた様子でした警察官はブライアンの態度もよく自首しに来たと思ったので彼の手錠を外してミランダ警告を読み上げ始めた。To read off this card, okay? okay? I'm a police officer, sheriff's deputy. You are hereby advised you have certain rights as follows. You have the right to remain silent. You don't have to make any statements or answer any questions. You understand? Yes. Got it. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford, I'm sorry, you have the right to speak with a lawyer for advice. 
before you're asked any questions, you have the right to have a lawyer with you during any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, a lawyer appointed by the court or a lawyer from the public defender's office will be provided to you before and during any question without any cost to you. Do you understand? Yes. If you decide to answer any questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk with a lawyer. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, now that you understand your rights, are you willing to, to answer any questions without a lawyer present? Um, um, minimal. I mean, I, okay. I, to be fair, representation is needed. Okay. And, and but at the bare minimum, we're trying to figure out right. this address, this person needs help. He, he asked you a question, and we do need to a yes or no on that. You can you can refuse to answer any question we ask okay. you, and you can stop answering at any time, like you read you. So if you say minimal, I mean, we need to know if you want a, a lawyer or if you're willing to answer some questions. You can always refuse to answer any question that you want to refuse to answer. Okay. You know, I appreciate you guys' respect. Thank you very much. Brian's rights are not violated. The judge is again with him. 弁護人がいない場合、黙秘権があるので、警察からの質問に一切答えないことができると強調した。Yes, at this time I can answer some questions.、Um, First of all, let me ask you this: Has this been reported to law enforcement at all? No, this is it. This is it. I'm walking in because I know this is the right thing to do. But where do you live at? I've been live, living out of my truck and motel rooms since I quit my、uh, trucking I, job last year. I'm just、year. trying to figure out why you came to this police department. Were you oh, just driving around. Or... Yeah, I've been all over the place. Okay, I've been okay. Where, where did this happen? Up on、um, the Miami Montgomery County Line Road. Miami Montgomery County Line Road. Do you have an address? I don't know her house number. What's her name? I think it's in the 9000 series. Okay.、Um, Her name is Michelle Elliott. The basement. You, yeah. Do you mind? Will you come downstairs to the interview room with us? No, no problem. So I'm just gonna pat you down one more time. Is that cool with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Anything to make you feel safe. Okay. No problem. I just want to make sure that you don't have a gun. You said there's one in the car. So I just want to make sure you don't have any other weapons. ブライアンが取り調べ室に連れて行かれる前に安全を確保するために警察官は再び彼をボディチェックした。その後、警察官はブライアンが運転していた車を見つけ、その車両をさらなる調査しようとした。This guy just walked up to me and said he、uh, shot and killed somebody. Oh my god. So I'm on, by the way. So he said the gun he used to kill her with is in this car, or accidentally. ブライアンの誤って友人に発砲した主張に対し、警察官も疑問を抱いたようだ。彼は両手をピースサインにし、指を折り、カニのような仕草をしていた。So, Justin wants you to sit in this car. We're trying to figure out where this happened. He doesn't know the address. 取り調べ室で警察官はブライアンに被害者の正確な住所を尋ねた。その後、マイアミズバーグ市警はマイアミ軍保安官事務所に捜査協力を要請した。調査の結果、マイアミ軍保安官事務所は被害者の住居を特定された。警察官がドアをノックしても、部屋の中には誰も応答しなかった。部屋に立ち入ったところ、キッチンとリビングルームの間にある女性は血の海に横たわっていて、現場で死亡が確認された。その後、被害者は57歳のミシェルであることが分かった。ミシェルの死因は銃殺と推定され、事件当時、ブライアンはちょうどミシェルの自宅にいた。ブライアンはミシェルの死は完全に事故だったと力説したが、警察は3月28日に彼を殺人罪で起訴した。しかしブライアンは無罪を主張。現在、ブライアンは殺人容疑で拘置所に収監され、保釈金は約1億3000万円である。警察は現在、ブライアンと被害者ミシェルの関係について深く調査している。ボディカメラを公開された後、大きな波紋を引き起こした。一部の人々は、ブライアンが事件後、なぜすぐ警察に通報しなかったについてコメントしていた。彼らによると、極度の恐怖や驚きの状態では、人は理性を失い、頭が真っ白になるため、理性を取り戻した後に通報すると考えられるというまた事件が計画的な殺人でありブライアンの話が嘘で事故に見せかけるために通報しなかった可能性も考えられる他にもブライアンが落ち着きすぎて捜査に対し想定問答を頭の中で何度もリハーサルしたような様子だったという声もあった現在警察は事件の真相を明らかにするために深く調査を行っている